through projects. In this video, we are going to explain about a project title Fingerprint Compression Based on Sparse Representation. The project introduction emphasized the significance of efficient storage space management in the context of fingerprint data, which is widely collected and stored for the application like forensic and access control. Due to the large volume of fingerprint images, storing and transmitting them can be resource intensive. To address this issue, the project proposes an enhanced fingerprint compression algorithm based on the space representation. By reducing the redundancy in the fingerprint images, the proposed algorithm aims to expedite the transmission, minimize the storage requirements, and optimize the overall storage space management. The project objective is to present an enhanced algorithm for fingerprint compression that relies on sparse representation. The proposed algorithm consists of two main components that are dictionary learning and compression process. By reducing the redundancy in fingerprint images, the project aims to enhance the transmission speed and reduce the storage demand. The proposed algorithm is compared with the K-singular value decomposition dictionary learning algorithm and the evaluation demonstrates of improvement in the peak signal to noise ratio. And these are the basic requirements that are needed to build this project. The hardware requirements are operating system as Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 4 GB and above, hard disk of 20 GB and above. Software requirement Python IDEL with version of 3.7. These are the modules that are developed to build this project. The first module is upload the image. In this module, the fingerprint image is uploaded to the project for further processing. The image serves as the input for the compression process. In the second module is compress the image using SVD. This module focuses on compressing the fingerprint image using the singular value decomposition algorithm. The SVD algorithm scans each pixel of the image and replaces the high intensity pixel with the low intensity pixels to reduce the storage size. It maintains a dictionary of pixels and uses it to replace the low intensity files with the high intensity ones during the compression process. The resulting compressed image contains the same quality as of original image but with reduced storage size. And the final module is comparison graph. In this module, a comparison graph is generated to evaluate the effectiveness of the SVD based image compression technique. The graph visually illustrates the comparison between the original image and compressed image in terms of storage size and image quality. It allows for a quantitative analysis of the compression ratio and the preservation of image detail after the compression. The comparison graph helps access the efficiency and efficacy of the SVD algorithm for fingerprint image compression. The execution of the project. To execute the project, first we need to open the code folder. This is the code folder consisting of different files. The compressed folder consisting of the compressed images and the sample finger images consisting of the various fingerprint images. And the main is the python file and the svd is also a python file and the run is a bad file. Instead of executing the program in command line interface, we created a windows bad file to execute the project. Now to run the project, double click on run.bad file. Here, this is the graphical user interface. With this, we are interacting with the program. First, we need to click on upload image button. It redirects to the sample finger images. Here, we need to select any one of the finger image. And I am selecting the third image and click on open button. Here, we get a screen of image is loaded. And click on compress image using the SVD algorithm button. By this, the image is compressed and we get a screen of like this. Here this is the original image and this is the uh, compressed image. We can see that both are of same quality but the size of that image is of this is of high one when compared to this. The size is reduced with of most different 
here it, we can see that of 85,000 but here we can see of 19,000 only. In this way we can compress the actual image size without reducing the quality of the image. And click on comparison graph button. Here we get a bar graph where the x-axis represents the sizes of normal file and compressed file where the y-axis represents the value of that file and close this graph. In this way we can compress the original image with another one without reducing the quality of the image but of decreasing the size of the image. The conclusion, the project proposes an improved algorithm for fingerprint compression based on the sparse representation using the recursive least square dictionary learning algorithm. The result obtained through the RLS DLA shows an improvement of 2.98% in the PSNR compared with the K-singular value decomposition dictionary learning algorithm. Therefore, the project concludes that the proposed algorithm is more effective than that of the KSVD algorithm in reducing the redundancy in fingerprint images, thereby speeding up the transmission and minimizing the storage requirements. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.